Twitter's now chomping at the bits at Joe Rogan's tail, mad at him because he's against more gun control. Let's dive into this because I'm sick and tired. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Rashad Crenshaw back again with another video. Now, I'm on Twitter scrolling through, right? And I look up, you know what? Yeah, I'm like, because Twitter is a toxic app. It's absolute bullshit. It's, it's hell on earth. Why anybody would frequent that app, I don't know. I personally don't use it that often because it's straight from the pits of hell. Now, I go on there and I look up Joe Rogan because I know Joe Rogan has probably made a comment about the Uvalde shooting. I want to know what people are mad at him for now. Ernest Owens goes on Twitter and says, Joe Rogan makes millions of dollars going in the wrong direction on common sense daily. Imagine purposefully choosing to make illogical arguments that will continue to endanger the lives of innocent children. From COVID to gun control, it's a disgusting way to make a living. Now, the reality of the situation is this. I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna talk about COVID because I'll get banned. YouTube will get rid of me, so we're not gonna talk about that. Let's talk about the gun issue. Here's the truth. These people want you to not have an AR-15, but they want the police to be able to have it. The same police that refused to go into the school and kill the shooter. Do you, can someone explain to me the logic in that? Can someone explain to me what I might be missing here? Cause I'm not the, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. I'm not claiming to be the smartest guy in history. I'm not claiming to be the smartest guy ever. I'm just saying, isn't it funny that the police, the same people who they say are slaughtering black people, the same people who they say are unbelievably corrupt and evil, the same people who they say, the same people who refuse to go inside the school and kill the shooter, these are the people who deserve the AR-15s, not you. The same people who are killing unarmed civilians, be they black, white, Asian, you can look up all kinds of videos of them killing everybody unjustly. They never get held accountable. They always investigate themselves and find themselves not guilty. But these are the people who were supposed to be trusted with your safety, your safety, not only your safety, your children's safety. Because apparently when your kid is getting lit up inside the school, the police are literally outside refusing to go inside. Uh, we might get shot. Not going to go in there. No, thank you. But Joe Rogan's the bad guy. Let's dive into some more tweets, right? Somebody says, "Ugh, I had pinned all my hopes on Joe Rogan having a nuanced and humanitarian opinion on gun control. Joe Rogan's opinion on gun control is honestly as fair as it's going to get. We do thorough background checks on all people who want to own a firearm. I went and got an AR-15 and AT. I'm 21 now. Uh, 30 to 40 people have not been shot by me. The reality is gun laws are as good as it's going to get right now. You can't go buy a 240 Bravo. You can't buy a saw. You can't buy an AT4. An AR-15 is not a weapon of war. The reality is this, and here's the thing, when AR-15s get banned, you know what they're gonna use to kill a bunch of people next? You know what the mass shooters are gonna use next? Semi-automatic handguns. The Glocks, the Glizzies, the, the, the all of that, they're gonna use, they're gonna use these weapons to kill a bunch of people. Let's tell the truth, bro. Let's not, let's not lie and act like they're not gonna use Glocks next. All the crazies out there that plan to kill a bunch of people for no other reason than just because a bunch of children, you know what gun they're gonna use next? Handguns. And you know what's even worse? You won't know they have one. See, with the AR-15, you, you, you'll see them holding it. You have a split second, you have something, you have time to make some kind of decision. Handgun, man, they can hide two or three of those in their waist. You can, ha you can hide three handguns from your from the your pelvic area all the way damn near to your ass you can hide three handguns on both sides of your body both right and left and just shoot up an entire school an entire supermarket anywhere if you so please to it's a fact so do you understand that these people are going to take it to the next level over and over and over again you can buy handguns with magazines that hold 15 rounds that's more than enough rounds to kill a bunch of people who are off guard and compact in a small area I don't know, like school children. Don't be fooled into giving up your own personal rights to safety because these people think that laws and pieces of paper will protect them. The majority of us, if we ever do encounter gun violence, will encounter it in burglaries, robberies, assaults. Most situations where you're going to need a gun to protect yourself or where someone might use a gun to hurt you are going to be involved in everything but a mass shooting, statistically speaking. 
You need to be able to protect yourself. And if you find yourself in a mass shooting and you cannot protect yourself, you're going to be sick. You're going to be sick. This is a true. This is this is the truth no one wants to accept because America has us living so fat and comfortable and sweet and soft. Here's the truth. You are the only one who can protect you. You are the only one who's responsible for your safety. The police have made it increasingly clear that they will choose their ass over yours every single time. How many more people need to die before y'all realize this? How many more children need to lose their lives with the police sitting outside before y'all realize the fact that your safety is of your own concern? Your vigilance is going to determine whether you're going to be able to survive some of these situations. I'm not Rambo. I'm not saying that if a motherfucker pulled up on me, I'm going to just pull it out and blah, blah, blah. And I'm a, no, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm a superhero and I, you know, I, I, anybody could get caught lacking anybody in any situation you could be concealed carrying or not you could get caught lacking but if you want to increase your odds of surviving a serious situation such as an assault a burglary a robbery a mass shooting being able to protect yourself is of the utmost importance don't let these other people fool you into throwing away your right to defend yourself in this world the majority of us are going to encounter we're more likely to encounter a burglary, a robbery, an assault, a rape than we are to encounter a mass shooting. Do you want to be unarmed when that time comes? Because when the AR-15s get banned, what gun are they going to come for next? They're going to come for your handguns. And this is the truth. And here's the foolishness that I see on Twitter. It's about re regulating. It's about regulating, not banning. 21 years old is still too young to have a gun. I didn't realize that burglaries, robberies, rapes, and assaults didn't happen until you're 21. I didn't realize that real life doesn't come at you until you're 21. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that life is like Skyrim, where when you reach a certain level, all these new enemies pop up on the map. That's not real life. Anything can happen to you at any age. It's funny how you're old enough to go fucking fight and die in Iraq at 21, but you're not old enough to, f to sign up for a firearm. You shouldn't be you shouldn't be able to get a firearm. You shouldn't be able to own a firearm until you're 21, but you can you can go join the military? Are y'all serious right now? You could get shot up by Ahmed and his homies, but you can't have a gun until you're 21. That's the logic you want to use. That's the kind of mentality you want to push. Lord have mercy. The, the, the delusion and the privilege, it's it, it knows no bounds. It knows absolutely no bounds. Here's this crazier chick. Pass a law called well-regulated militia. Ban large clips. Register license and mega tax ammo and every related piece of gear. Require insurance. Require gun safes. Thumbprint and mugshot every registration and license. Regulate that militia real well. Now, this is obviously someone who doesn't own a gun. Because when you start incorporating things like register license and mega tax ammo, and every related piece of gear. She wants to tax your ammo, the magazine you put the ammo in, the chest rig you carry in the event that you confront someone in your house with a gun so you can easily access your magazines. Whatever the situation might be, she wants all of those things to be heavily taxed. The poor of all people need guns more than anyone else. The poor are hyper exposed to crime and criminals. Do you think the poor can afford to buy all this gear and then pay extra taxes on that? Do you? Do you believe that? These rich people or people who have no intention of owning a firearm are the ones coming up with these foolish rules. The rich can afford to live in neighborhoods where the police have to patrol every day and the police will patrol every day. And when they call the police, the police will be there in milliseconds. Yo ass doesn't have that same luxury. These rich people are in gated communities, segwayed off. You can't even see the gate. Don't even know that they're there. These people have every advantage of safety over you to the point where they don't even need a gun. But you, gun owner, you need to pay a shit ton of taxes so that you can defend yourself. Thumbprint and mugshot every registration and license. And this is the shit that I'm talking about. You want to thumbprint an American citizen because they want to be able to defend themselves. This is the kind of world that we live in. This is the kind of world that we live in. When I went to go get my handgun, I had to, I had to fingerprint every single fucking thing on my hand. When I went to the military, the only reason they had us thumbprint ourselves was so that if we died, 
we would be able to be identified through thumbprint if you couldn't recognize our face. That was the reason. These people want you to literally give up every fingerprint on your hand, which I unfortunately had to do. Every fingerprint on your fucking hand, just so you can own a firearm to defend yourself. Lord have mercy. These are the delusional people trying to dictate your ability to defend yourself. Pieces of, I don't have any paper. Pieces of paper and laws will not save you in America. There are so many guns in circulation in America, it's too late for all of that banned shit. It's too late. There's so many guns in circulation in this country. There are more guns than there are people. There's so many guns in this country. There's no point in sitting here and playing this game of ban the guns. Don't fall for the for the foolishness. Don't fall, fall for the BS. Get a gun to protect yourself. There are far too many evil people out here and far too many guns to fall into their use and their employment for you to be walking around unarmed under the belief that a document or some random politician can save you. You fight fire with fire. That's just what I believe.